Hello, my beautiful people. So, <laughs> Nikki Bubblegum here today. Um, sorry I didn't get to post a video last week. Things have just been a little crazy. Um, things are getting a little more settled in the house. We've been putting together a lot of furniture. Um, and then we actually just had a small little um, housewarming party with some of our friends um, Saturday. So Friday when I normally edit and post, we had to go as soon as I got off work. Um, straight to go pick up our lawnmower, mow the grass, go grocery shopping because we had a taco themed party and had Lily dress up in her cute little taco costume. It was so exciting. And yeah, so I'm sorry I haven't been able to post last week, but yeah, I plan to go ahead and make up for that. Um, today I'm actually going to go shopping with my friend that I've known like my whole life. She's like a little sister to me and I'm so excited because she messaged me wanting help to pick out a foundation. So what's a better way than to be testing out our foundation today? And today it's gonna be um, the Tarte Face Tape. So I don't remember where I put my stand, so I'm just gonna be holding my phone for now. So if it's a little more wobbly and moving around than normal, <laughs> I am apologize, but yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and try to open this with one hand. And the beautiful packaging. Um, I got it in a 22N, so it's a light neutral color, um, just because it had such a huge large range and this felt like a good medium color for me, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've only ever used their concealer with a giant little um, applicator. This has like a little pump and I have my dirty looking beauty blender that I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this on. I'll probably start with one pump and see how much that covers real quick. And yeah, right now I'm on my lunch break while I'm recording. I have a shake for lunch. Uh, my friend got me a little Nutra, no, not a, a Ninja blender with little cups and stuff as a housewarming gift so I don't have to pull out the huge giant blender every time I need a shake. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Sorry I keep getting distracted. But yeah. Okay, so I took off my glasses. This is a, how much like one pump is. It might be like half a pump since it's first time being used. It didn't squirt out a lot the first time. So we'll just go ahead and see how much this covers. If I need more, then I need more. No big deal, but yeah. Oh God. I was trying to put it on with my left hand and like I can do use my left hand for stuff, but not always the best. I know it makes it look like it's super light, but it's just covering up the red of my face so yeah. oh it smells so good it's kind of flowery and beautiful and I love it and yeah it's covering up really really well it's a little bit lighter than I thought it would be but I feel like the color blends really well like I don't have like a white or orange line on my neck <laughs> so yeah but look it's like really covering up those big red spots super well so yeah. Okay, so I have the foundation on. It really didn't need more than that one little pump and it covered really, really well. I like that it's really super like light. I don't know why, but for some reason I was thinking like it'd be really super thick and like a really super high coverage. So I was expecting it to be like ridiculously high coverage. It's more of like a medium coverage, but it covers really, really well all the redness. I didn't need to build up or add any extra and I feel like I could really easily and I feel like it's going to blend really well with the concealers and um, for contouring if I want or I can even just wear it like this with like some powdered bronzer and highlighter, nothing too crazy. But yeah, it covered up really well. I see why everyone likes it so much and I just really love the way it smells. Like I know a lot of people don't like stuff that's scented but to me I feel like it smells better when it's scented because it's a little flowery even if you just put a little bit of rose water or something in it. It smells nicer than just like clay or something. I don't know the other ones that aren't scented, but how about So I want to show you guys. Um, I recently got a new dresser for our closet. It's this cute little stand. Ignore the stuff on it because we're still organizing and unpacking stuff. But um, I went, since we moved all that, we got rid of the little plastic drawers that I had. And I'm using one of the little plastic drawers like to hold my makeup. So now I have a huge giant case for all my makeup to fit in. And so having like two or three caboodles, having a giant pile of like palettes somewhere else. So, so here's my little thing with all my makeup. Like the bottom's nothing but eyeshadow. I have like um, bronzers, concealers, and like eyeliners and eye primers and stuff in here. Brow filler. 
I'm gonna have like my drawer foundations, concealers, primers, and settling sprays. And then up here is literally just lipstick and lip liners. And like I've gone I've actually gone through and got rid of a lot of makeup that was like getting old or I've been trying to use more of it so I wouldn't take up so much space. And I just built my shake all over the floor because I was shaking it too much and forgot to close the lid. But yeah, um, <laughs> back to the foundation. I really like it. It's my first time using this foundation. I felt like it blended really well. And considering I just ran in and like grabbed a color, that would be roughly right. Um, I feel like it blended really well and it's really easy to use. It feels really super light. It has a really nice smell to it. So I like it. I enjoy it. And I hope you guys um, like this short goofy video. And as always, I'll see you later. I gotta get back to work. Bye my beautiful people. Bye.